back to it. <laughs> uh, I think the 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 warning was just because like I have this whole project open and I have all this Python stuff just in infrastructure and it's like complaining about that. I can't figure out that this file is relative to whatever. So I just, I did the thing where it's like add it to extra DIRs or something just to make that warning go away. I think this should be fine. Um, and I think for the arguments here, I think for the arguments here, um, I am just going to I can just have it. I think I can do whatever arguments I want, right? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can just be like VPC subnets. Um, like this is in TypeScript where I'm inheriting some I'm not inheriting a specific shape of arguments or number of arguments or something for the constructor for this class. There we go. So I think I can just do that. And that, and that is fine. All right, and then somewhere here, I want to use that. Find that comment, and then we're going to create, um, say, Fargate batch job queue is this, and then, yep, and then that, and done. Except it's not because it's assuming something, like, I guess. I guess what I could do, because the only thing I need from VPC is the ID. I could just call this VPC ID and subnet IDs. That matches with like what this takes, for instance, and sort of what this takes, right? And so then I can, I can make it, I can make what Copilot imagined be the actual thing. Okay, now we have this, which means down here, when we refer to batch queue, we just change that to be that, um, but that's not right. <laughs> uh, I think what I will do is I will I will make it work like this because I'll, I'll export job queue on here. Makes effectively making our um, component a drop in replacement for the normal job queue, but it also stands up the compute environment. Forget compute environments as well. Uh, so that's a step in the right direction, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how that comes out, you know, over time if that ends up being what we need. Um, we, I am going to need a, a different one, right, for an EC2 base compute environments uh, soon. I just, when I think of like trying to add stuff when there's so much going on here, I, I am discouraged <laughs> from doing that. Um, that we have to add a team for a different EC, or, um, ACRs. Uh, and we are going to do all this. And then let's talk about what we have going on here. Uh, so we have container execution role. I think this is going to be the same for everything. And then we have task role. Task role is where we have the permissions for the actual code that's running in um, the container to be able to interact with AWS. Us. This one is going to be specific to the task that is um, right 
running inside of Fargate. I think. Let's see if I don't know if this can be the same. But this part would be unique. It sh it should be different. Like the the task to run the video ingester is going to need different permissions than the task to run the audio transcription. Similar, right? Because it also needs to access, except it needs to read from the output bucket. Um, and it there's probably a separate permission that it needs in DynamoDB to update the item, and it doesn't need to access the video archive at all. Um, I guess what I'm trying to reason out now is what makes sense to kind of like abstract out or move into a separate file. Um, I guess if nothing else, I could take... So what uses... The other thing to consider besides like what are the resources and what are they involved with and you know, can we think about them as a separate unit of uh, infrastructure? But what are the interdependencies between things, right? So um, all the container properties for the task for the video ingester, that that depends on the container execution. So maybe it makes sense to take I think this is probably a good cutoff. So this event target role and uh, what's the dead letter queue? So the dead letter queue is all tied into the event role. So this is basically the thing that integrates from S3 to AWS batch. So I think this and the dead letter queue um, and the role, like all the stuff below this kind of is a separate thing from the stuff before it. Um, it might make sense to make a separate component that has this in it, but it, that component might have other things in it. Like we might generify the concept of hooking up things or maybe just have a place where all of these connections go into might make sense. I think um, for now, I'm just gonna leave all of this alone. But if we want to look at like all the things related to the video ingester, job definition and container properties and task role, like everything here, maybe this can be a component. This could be the video ingester job uh, component. Ingestor or ingester? Well, I spelled it that way, so we're gonna we're gonna go with it. So at least all of this is going to move into here inside of a, a class eventually. And then I think the other thing that will make sense to do, because nothing else depends on these things in here, we'll take these items. Um, this is going to be interesting because I think this is going to potentially, I think it'll be interesting to see how this is going to work because this, this potent, like if I were doing this in, uh, the AWS cloud development kit kind of style of doing things, doing stuff like this would definitely break things. Um, because it would have to like the way it would identify these resources it would see these as different new resources and would try to tear down the old ones and create new ones. So let's, let's see how this works for, for this. So I'm going to start with uh, copying this. And this module defines a Pulumi component resource that um, doesn't do that. It says video ingester. everything else that 
inside of the constructor. Uh, are we just doing one tab at a time? Rather than logical? Okay. what arguments actually make sense here for this. I think, well, we'll see. We'll see how this works. Um, represents the <laughs> that represents a video ingester job and associated resources. CR repository batch job definition. Yeah. And so what's missing? What what do we not have defined? We don't have video archive defined or output bucket or metadata table. Um, we don't have JSON defined. That's that's a little bit easier of a thing to solve. There we go. Um, we don't have AWS defined. Places where we couldn't use AWS native. Okay, so basically our input or our other resources that we're interacting with that are not unique to uh, this job. So, we gotta do this. We gotta do... Ooh, we can type. We can we give it give it types maybe. that matter can we just do that nice okay I like it so then th there's still more that we'll need to do but um, what we can do is down here let's um let's add an import here from video ingester job, import video ingester job. Lies. Um, did I spell it right? Video in G O R G O P. Okay. Add infrastructure. I already did this. No, I don't. I don't get it. See, I'm gonna do that, and then the error is gonna go away. Actually, yeah, see the error one. <laughs> but I did that for the, I don't get it. Uh, is, is something changing in like a config file or something? Okay, but it was already in there. And removing it didn't, okay. It's a little buggy. Uh, anyway. So then we're gonna say video ingester job is this. Yep, it's called that. Yep, and we're done. Okay, and then some some complaints. So uh, ways I could do this, right? So I could. If you do something where I do like this and I have a job definition, oops, I did not successfully copy. Uh, do something like this, where a video ingester job provides a job definition and has an ARN. Um, are there, I think what I like is doing something where we have a job definition ARN exposed. That seems nice. So now we just need to expose that. We need to provide that output. Like that. All right, and then everything here, yeah, we don't need that. That's not a thing that's relevant to what we're doing. Um, then everything here is used. 
doesn't use anything that we're not providing. So, uh, so, so far I've not changed anything theoretically, <laughs> theoretically. Uh, oh, the build felt, um, cannot create directory slash model permission denied. Interesting. Interesting. So let's take a look at, before we go off into trying to get Pulumi to do stuff land, let's try to address this. So, oh, we became this user. So let's, let's do this first, uh, add the user and then create the directory, give the directory, give this user permissions on that directory and then become the user. We did that in the wrong order. So while that's going, um, CD into infrastructure, Pulumi. What does this do? Pulumi up. Given all the things that we moved around, changed around, it's going to give us a preview of what it thinks should change, uh, which we'll show in the terminal. Probably also click the link. For that matter, I'm not signed in. Let's do the thing. Let me go sign in first. All right, and then bring this down here. All right, uh, preview started a few seconds ago. Video and gesture job object has no attribute job definition on. Okay, so we're doing something wrong. Good to know. Also, we see it here. Terminal. Um, here you can see that it's recognizing these things are now part of the Fargate patch job queue uh, component. So I'm curious to see uh, what effect that has. What's the issue? that um, video adjuster object has no thingy. There's no attribute. So register outputs. Register synthetic outputs that the component has initialized, usually by allocating other sub resources and property and resulting property values. Okay. So that doesn't do what I expected it would do. So registering component outputs. Components can component resources can define their own output properties by using register outputs. The Lumi engine uses information to display logical, logical outputs of the component resource. And any changes to the outputs will be shown during an update. Yes. Yes. Okay. But that doesn't actually provide that for other components. So in that case, maybe what I want to do here is I do want to do this and I do want to say self dot um, I have to do the same thing for the, uh, the other component. I want to define a job definition arm as being this. I probably want to do that. It seems like register output should be the last thing that I do. So I want to do something like that. And then something similar here where I want to do self dot uh, job queue arm equals job queue dot job queue arm. Yep. And then job queue is the output. Something like that. So that should be better. Let's try this. 
get a preview of what it thinks it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so it wants to delete five things, create eight things, and update three things. So we don't want to do that. Hey, Moody Abigail, thanks for the uh, lurk. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. So what all is going on here? So it wants to delete all of these things because now they exist here. Um, and I think that makes sense. Do I want to perform this update? No, no, I don't. I think that makes sense because what we did was we gave all of the resources new names here. So if I undo that, and I do this again, how does that affect what it try what it wants to do? still wants to create those things. Huh. No, I don't want to do that. Hmm. I, I'm assuming it still wants to do that because we have this thing setting all of these uh, com these resources as being parented by this. So, how do we migrate resources into a, a new component? not quite the same thing, but um, moving resources between stacks or projects is some kind of move. Specify aliases for the old resources. Aliases. Okay. Okay. Uh, so in that case, I want to undo the changes made. So I have the new names here for things. And then it's in resource options, right? Resource options takes an alias. Yeah, but an actual name. Uh, it could be that. What if I did that? Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Does this prevent the deletion and creation of the 
um, job queue. Picked object has no attributes. Okay, that's not how it's okay. alias. List contains an alias. Name equals batch queue. Okay. And then we need to import that from Lumi. So uh, it still wants to create a job queue and it still wants to delete a job queue. So that is not so good. Aliases are implicitly inherited from a parent, so if a parent is moved, I want children obviously. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So if we go back to here and I look at dev and I look at resources, here is our batch queue. So here is the the urn for for this thing. So I think what I can do is I can actually type parents that project. Okay. Maybe it's enough if I just say parent none. that say? It's a semantic difference between attributes being given and none value and attributes not being given at all. Specifically, there's a the difference between, yeah, those two things. The first alias means the original urn had no parent. Well, the second alias means use the current one, um, which presumably if we leave off parent, implies it's the latter. Okay. So and then for the name, I can give the full urn so if I do that, does that fix this for this one thing we have to do for everything else? Uh, no. <laughs> it still wants to j delete the job queue. Why? No, I don't want to do that. Can we, can we look? this preview in, in here. Maybe we see more detail if we look here. Sources. Nothing yet. Yeah, let's create that and then delete that. because we want to change the job or maybe there's some other constraints here maybe maybe the job key was not the best example for instance maybe the name can't be updated so it has to be recreated some resources you can't update Let's try some things. Uh, aliases. Oops. Yeah, so that's what it was before, right? 
environment was the name. That. No parent. So if I do this, I would really like to have a solution to this. I want to move resources between uh, components. That was that was the um, that was the compute environment I was trying to move. Between uh, yeah, between components. And it wants to create a new one. For reasons. Java definition is an update. Huh. Maybe my assumptions of what's, what's going on here are wrong. All right, we want to update the job definition here. Update container properties, but that makes sense because some of the other things are getting recreated, right? So the arms of things are changing, so then the container properties which reference those resources change. So that's an update, even though all oh, right, but we're not right. We didn't uh do the other thing here that we did in the other one, which was to change the parent. Um to, to parent these items. Resource. Um, this is a resource. So let's see if I add this to here, if that makes everything be uh, of delete and recreate. to delete, two to create, only two are updated, which are the things that have been not moved into components yet. Well, that is, doesn't matter. Um, it matters in that I'm going to have to push new image to the newly created repository. I cared about the history of the jobs here, that would be annoying. I have to like delete the job queues and recreate them. Um, but yeah, it seems adding the alias did nothing. I could be missing something. Combination of the old name type parent stack and our project values. Oh, it didn't say the, the earn though. Um, I wonder. Let's try something else then. What if I just 
divided into earn. Or like the compute environment here. That changed the nature of the update for the compute environment? Yes. Okay, there's our solution. No, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, okay, so you can't provide this, but does that mean that if I were to do this and this, that would also work? Maybe I just went a step too far in the previous attempt. Okay, so now we're updating job queue and compute environment. Yeah, that, that's what I want. Great, so now just do everything else. I, I was basically just missing this parent none when I was providing the name. Um, do I care about the security groups? No. There's no state or information in the security groups or the roles, so I don't care about migrating them. I'm fine with like deleting and migrating them. Uh, I think. Like if you imagine like the process that it's gonna do, it's gonna like create the new roles. It's gonna update the resource to use the new roles and delete the old roles, but that's not gonna have any effect. Um, so yeah, I think that's fine. And then we're gonna do something similar here. We're gonna do aliases, list alias, video ingester, parent, Hmm, excuse me, none. Yeah, we can do it that way. Let's let's be consistent then. So wherever, uh, oh, I'm doing, okay. <laughs> I could have sworn that uh, somewhere I, yeah, I guess not. It was my imagination that I imported alias from Pulumi, or rather I selected an option and auto added it like that. Okay, uh, yeah, undo that. that, that's all fine to leave as is. And then in job definition, I would like to put the ops at the bottom. Yeah, like that. Um, and then the last thing we need to do is update this now say name like that um, probably should parameterize it here as well otherwise policy names are gonna conflict if we were if I don't know why like in this particular example, there would be really no reason to instantiate this class multiple times, which is maybe a, like a, a smell that maybe this doesn't make sense. But, you know, generally the, the, there might be an abstraction here that we can pull out that would be, be useful. But it's just for like organizational purposes, putting things together is nice. Uh, but then there's no point of repeating myself over and over again saying, you know, video ingester this, video ingester that, because that's what the whole thing is. So that'll be in the in the name. So when we are give, providing things like policy name that uh, potentially need to be unique, or at least they're going to so show up in the UI of you know in the AWS console. Uh, that'll be good. Okay. Anyway, so do that uh, and do this. Um, and I guess repository name is, it's going to be the name. No, I don't like doing that. It needs to be, at least for now, it should be that. Wait, hold on. What was this before? Oh, it was video just a repository. So when the alias should be. Try to make them 
let's take it somewhere else. Okay, good. All right, so what does the update look like now? More updates. Okay, so we're gonna delete five things. We're gonna delete, ah, right. There were multiple renames of the, uh, of the repository. So the repository as it was deployed previously, it was just called ECR repository. Um, or the the Plumi resource name was ECR repository. So that's what the alias needs to be about. All right, so now we're gonna delete a security group and three roles, and we'll just be recreating them. I think that's fine. And then in our um, component resource, have a new role in security group and then the job queue and compute environment are the existing ones that are just going to get moved in and hey thanks for follow hzzz2 just followed hzzz2 thank you for the follow hope you're doing well uh on this fine sunday morning or whatever time of the day it is for you uh so i think this should be good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this update. Maybe it'll even work. Update 29. Mm -hmm. Now, did I need to do all of this? to be able to add the new things that I'm going to need to add for the audio transcriber? Technically, no. Um, I could just like add more and more stuff to main.py. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it helps to kind of wrap things up. Um, I mean, you could say, oh, you just like, you could fold stuff away, right? You could stop seeing it, but uh, it helps it helps me think like manage what I need to think about as I'm looking at this. And there we go. So what happened? There was an error. Uh, job definition resource has a problem. Cannot our marshal number into go struct field key, pair, key value pair environment value of type string. So video ingester job job definition container properties has a problem. Huh. Okay. Just a job. Speaking of folding things. Yeah, so container properties. Something is wrong. Args. Okay. That's all of this stuff. It's container properties. Um, so what was it saying? Cannot unmarshal a number into ghost struct fields key value pair environment value. So something about the environment. Um, well, it, it probably makes sense that we cannot pass a number as a value for an environment variable. Uh, because these, these do need to be strings. So that, that might be what it's actually complaining about. is going to be now it should it should see that as a change right okay so now we're going to pick up where we left off we're going to update the job definition and then we're going to uh, update the event target 
things because the things they point to have changed. And then we'll delete all the things that we don't need anymore that we've replaced. Roles and security groups. Um, so that means that I must not have done a deploy of this since we added these parameters. been maybe a couple weeks <laughs> oh that's right so i was um right because i was able to add the parameters and build the docker image and push that up and then i was manually supplying the environment variables in the uh container overrides uh in aws batch uh running the container so that that makes sense i've not really had a need to push those changes which is Probably, probably not a good way to think about it. Like if I have changes, I should try to push them as quickly as I can so that we don't end up with things that are like broken that we don't realize. All right, so this is looking good. Leading things that are not referenced anymore since we've created new roles. And we're done. Okay, so now, new things, I think. I think we're ready for new things. Um, okay, I did define this repository. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, probably the most important thing about what I've been doing for the last better part of an hour, I guess, this refactoring, if you will, Although, yeah, nomenclature aside, um, is thinking about how I want to organize future work, right? So now I have this pattern of like, oh, I'll make a job um, component resource, and that can be where things go into, right? So now I can make another one called uh, audio transcriber. job that by and I'll be a bit less concerned about like preserving things for this one since uh, we don't have anything we don't have images pushed up nothing's happened yet um, bigger picture what I'll be looking at as I do more of these things is what is shared between these components what's different what can I abstract away but that's hard to do if you just have one file that has 50, 100 resources in it, it's hard to see the patterns. That That's kind of the thinking. Represents something. Uh, so we're going to name this to audio transcriber job. Uh, and we won't need the video archive. Audio transcriber Jamas assistant resources. ECR patch. Yep. Correct. Okay, and then this bit of code defining the ECR repo lives here now. Just the rest of the owl, right? Uh, so let me go ahead and see if I can just deploy this. Interesting. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, uh, because I've not actually instantiated the audio transcriber job. Right. Of course. Uh, where am I doing it? Okay. that. Nope. 
going to ignore that uh, nonsense from uh, Highlands. Okay, um, what else do we need to do at this point? We do need to self dot register outputs. Could register these things. that relevant important um nah okay so if i do this this is still going to delete the old repository and create a new one i believe which is fine because there's nothing in there yet All right so it's going to delete the old one oh and it's going to create a new one but it's not parented hold on i forgot uh and we don't need to worry about the updates. Um, that is one nice thing with the Cloud Development Kit, is when you're defining these, the way you instantiate resources, you cast the constructs, like a reference to essentially self, every time you instantiate any other resources, any other constructs. Um, so you don't have to do, you don't have to go out of your way like this to define this relationship. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. It already exists. Um, yeah, maybe it's just the timing thing. Let's try again. Go manually delete the repository then. Do I have ECR on the tab? No, I don't. Yeah, ECR. Yeah, audio transcriber. I don't think we pushed anything to it, right? Okay, so delete. It didn't make me type delete or the name or anything. All right. Try this now. Fully prepared that it's gonna be give me an error that oh the <laughs> thing doesn't exist anymore. How dare you try to delete it? I guess it must be trying to create the new thing before it deletes the old thing. Which could be reasonable. Uh so that seems like if I were to do pulling me up now, it should say there are no changes. Uh, 19 unchanged. There's no plan. Okay. Cool. All right. So now <laughs> we can make some progress. Uh, so perfect. Time for another break. Uh, when I return, um, it's going to be very similar to the video gesture job in terms of defining this. We need to define define these roles. We need to define container properties. We need to define the job definition. Um, except we'll be not talking about Fargate, we'll be talking about EC2. And then the next thing after that will be to create an EC2 batch job queue, or maybe like a GPU batch job queue for this work because it, it does run better with GPU access. Um, and that might be all we'll be able to, to do today. Just that, just that. Uh, that ultimately the idea will be to use AWS step functions to manage invoking the batch job uh, across all of the files and then pass context between them and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so we'll get to that when we can. All right, I'll be right back. 